Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to our Skyblock Island. This is Fredor7 here. And I'm Libby Lishley. How you doing? Yes. And we are here to make some progress on our Skyblock yes, uh, Island. As you can see, we've um, I've built a little pad here. It's a beautiful little and, pad. Yeah, I'm going to let Libby explain why. She had a project. I have a project. You see, we've got this beautiful island, we've got this beautiful tree garden, we've got a little cactus garden, we've got all this nice little things going on, but you may have noticed we don't have a house or anything to live in at all. We've been or roughing anywhere it. to even put beds for the night. It's troublesome. So, I got to thinking, okay, well, we're in Skyblock, what kind of house would I want to live in? And I decided I would want a tree house because, you know, we're in the sky, trees. This makes sense to me. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take dark oak, which is, if you follow me, this tree right here. It's a huge tree. I'm going to take this tree and plant four of them at each of these corners. Uh, 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 skeleton. We have a skeleton. Kill it! Kill it with um, fire! I it? would love to. Oh, it found me. What? 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 Just okay. Oh, you got um, it. Um, well, I don't know. I teleported to uh, the island, which, as you know, spawns you in on top of the uh, tree. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the uh, skeleton is not here anymore. Also, the top part of the tree is gone. I'm just gonna pop a torch down there. Okay, I'm gonna stay up here for a second, actually. Why don't you? <laughs> got you. <laughs> he got you. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's gone. Um. Sorry, you, you were saying, you were saying, <laughs> yes, we have a good view up here. We are going to put a dark oak in each of these corners and then build a treehouse in the middle of it. Each of these torches represents a sapling because the dark oaks need to be planted in a uh, two by two sapling square in order for them to grow. They won't grow if it's just one sapling. So that is my project and I'm going to be trying to kick that into shape and pick out which kind of planks I'm going to want to use in the house. Sweet. So we have a treehouse that's going to start, and I would assume we don't have any bone meal, do we? Oh, I do have bone meal. Here. There's the bone meal. Thank I you. do not know how bone meal works on 2x2 uh, two two trees. Mm. I'm assuming you you'd have you can... You'd think you'd have to bone meal each sapling. Well, I don't know. I think you probably could get away with just bone mealing one, but I'm not sure because I haven't done it before. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I'll I'm going to you... find out. I'll let you figure that out. 25 bone meal should should work for these. Oh, the, the saplings you want yeah, yeah. are up here. Oh, I'm keeping you. the saplings in the wood specific to each tree oh, in each tree's clever. little that's very thing clever. here. Excellent. Okay. And um, I have a piece of cactus. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I, I'm guessing our uh, viewers have caught on to this little thing and are wondering what on earth is going on. Why do we have this <laughs> puzzle and everything here? It looks like another island, and if you open this chest, looky there, it's the materials for another island. Well, at the moment, we're not using that. Um, I might use it later. But here's what happened. Uh, some kind of something with the server and the plugin was uh, removed and then replaced or whatever and we got back and we could no longer open chests on our island or do anything we we didn't have any permissions and um, got a hold of one of the administrators and he looked into it for us and uh, he couldn't for some reason the plugin doesn't allow the plugin that they're using anyway does not allow um, restoration of, uh, of ownership it allows you to remove an order, but not replace one or something. Something along those lines. Um, We're not programmers. We don't understand. Yeah, I, I, I haven't run a server, so I don't know the details of this. But anyway, so what he did was he basically uh, started us a new island, which is right here. And he copied and pasted on our old island. So we didn't lose anything. Right. And in fact, we kind of gained a little bit here. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, I'm, I'm not touching it for the moment. We'll, we we'll leave it here for a while. We might. We might knock it down later or do something so anyway yeah that's that's what's been going on and um oh another funny little glitch thing um this is our cobblestone generator of course and uh it's one block high so easy to jump in and out of except for on this side for some strange reason i cannot jump in or out of this it's kind of odd i i don't know why i really don't so i have to teleport which works. 
I just set home here. Is this working? Um. Um. Not a bone meal. I, I don't think it wants to. Well, that's a bummer. It doesn't want to play. Well, those things. Oh! Oh, oh wow. my! Sweet. Well. Okay. There you go. That's either, the dark oak. You, yeah. Either you, uh, I'm, either you I'm, successfully bone mealed it. Yeah. Into submission, or or it just grew because these things are yeah. wicked fast growers. They, they, they really are. They really. So that's not. Yeah. Uh, that's so not I'm bad. gonna shave off good. this little sticking out log right here. But otherwise, okay. that's a pretty good little set of dimensions. Yeah. Right? It's it's pretty cool. Where's the axe hiding? Um, I have. Here's an axe. Thank you. There you go. Okay, so um, so yes. Uh, also, I can't remember how much of this was here when uh, during our last episode. Uh, this is only our third episode. Uh, let's see. Let me climb atop a oh. tree here. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Yep. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's taller than this one too. I don't know if that's gonna matter. Yeah, I'll just find a middle ground somewhere. Yeah, or you could chop that one down and try again. It would work. So anyway, um, this is our tree farm slash little botanical garden paradise-ish thing, which is not done at all by a long shot. I'm going to eventually put a roof on it once I get it to the height I want. I'm not sure if this is the height. This is 10, 10 blocks high. I might go higher. And then I'll put a roof on it, and I'm going to build a mob grinder and everything. So anyway, this is what we have. Um, ooh, there we go. And... Um, as you can see, we have a little spot for acacia here. We have a little spot for dark oak, which is a really great source of wood, by the way. Oh, we're a little low right now, but we I've been I've been smelting it up into cobblestone. Uh, spruce, birch, uh, jungle tree, and oak. And those are the six basic kinds of trees that we have here in Skyblock. Oops. Hey, I and, need you to yep. do your magical spell thing on this one. Oh, I didn't unlock that? I don't that? have permissions for this one. Sorry. There we go. Thank you. Um, oh, and I was starting down here. I went ahead and got some uh, some lily pads. Um, and I was thinking I was going to cage the animals up, like individual types, on these last two plots. And I would stack them up um, in different layers. I might still do that, we'll see, but I'm probably going to need leads to do that since, you know, sorting animals and everything is kind of tough. Um, this is going to be the vines section, so we have the, uh, we have a new set of watermelon, uh, a new watermelon patch planted, and I'm going to go up, um, three blocks or so, and I'm going to create another level with, uh, pumpkins. Of course, we have one set of pumpkin seeds. So I should be able to do that, and then uh, who knows what we'll put on top of that, if anything. This is going to be the more exotic plants, so we already have... Ooh, we already have some sugarcane growing. This is good. This is very good. Let me be careful with this. There we go. And so we'll grow our sugarcane there, which grows up to three blocks high. So after three blocks, we'll build another floor. Um, and then on top of that, we will put sand... And we will put these, uh, the, the, we'll put the cactus. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, so we'll put the cactus there. Um, and that'll get us out. Whoops. <laughs> what just doing? happened? Oh, yeah, I think one of these trees is taking over the uh, cactus. I'm not really sure what's going on. Did you just cut this tree down, or? Which one? No, this, this tree's been here, right here. Yeah, it's been there. But I picked. I randomly picked up a piece of cactus a little earlier too. Oh no! You know what's happening when the um, when the cactus tries to grow. Oh oh! It pops off on the. Oh, exactly, that's funny. it grows and then it pops right off. And and yeah. Oops, so you, I I just picked this up. That's really funny. <laughs> so okay. that's fine. I mean. So it know. farms our cactus for us. Exactly. I I have thirty eight cactus right here, so we'll we'll be good. Um. Let's see. Oh yes. However. Uh, I put a note in the description of our last video because it's taken us a while. You know what, hon? I'm going to throw a torch down in the middle of here. Okay. Just, you know, because I am mobist. I do not like mobs. <laughs> um, at least not hostile ones. Uh, so anyway, uh, I put a note on our last video uh, regarding the trading center here. Ooh, this is going to be really cool. Uh, regarding the trading center and how there were a lot of things that we um, want to be able to get 
that we can't get or that we, um, you know, at the time we're unable to get. Well, as you can see here, new items have been added. I basically uh, started speaking with uh, some of the administrators here and said, hey, you know, there's some things that we can't get currently. We'd love to be able to get, and I think it would be important. And so they said, well, you know, it's it's kind of hard to to put the time in, really, because, of course, they're, you know, it's all volunteer here. And they have a lot of things to work on, and so they said it's just hard to get the time to sit down and figure out, you know, what we should have and what uh, the cost should be. Uh, and there are a limited number of trades and everything with this particular plugin with the um, the villagers. So um, my wife and I sat down and we did some figuring and we sent them a list of recommendations. And they, I'm very pleased to say that they took most of our recommendations. Uh, they seem to appreciate it, and they gave us. Oh, they adjusted a couple of things. Uh, for example, it still takes iron and carrots to get spawn a sheep. However, uh, carrots now only cost cobblestone, which is really nice. <laughs> um, but anyway, they added a pretty much, I think, pretty much all the stuff we suggested. There's probably still some stuff missing, but um, yeah, and sometimes they even kept our suggested trades, like this was one of them uh, for a diamond, charcoal, and a lava bucket, because, well, what does it take to make diamonds? You need carbon and heat and pressure, so we figured, hey, that makes some sort of sense. So you can get diamonds now. Uh, redstone, which is going to be important. Mycelium, uh, soul sand, vines, which are going to be really cool. Lily pads, I already bought a stack of those because we had so much watermelon hanging around. It's not funny. Uh, Podzol. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. This gentleman used to be just illegal fireworks. He still has the fireworks, which is awesome, but now he has netherrack as well. And blaze rods. And uh, let's see. This guy has... Does he have anything new? I can't remember. Nope, he doesn't have anything new. Uh, but that's okay. Everything he had was pretty much necessary. Um, yeah, again, carrots, potatoes, seeds. Now we can get gravel, which is great because we can get uh, flint. Actually, we're going to need some of that. Do we have any? No, we don't. I'll have to get. I'll have to bring some oak wood planks back. Uh, and clay. I'm excited about this because I want to use bricks as well as nether bricks. Um, there's cocoa beans, lapis lazuli nether wart. There you go. I want to be able to do all that kind of stuff uh, to build things that really actually look good. And so i um, very excited about that. Oh, and lava bucket. Which, I don't know, we figured was important because if something happens and you accidentally mess up, uh, I mean, you can restart your island, but... Excuse me, sorry. If you'd rather not do that, um, hey, you farm, farm some oak wood. It'll take you a little while, but you can earn back that lava bucket. Also, where are we going to get our obsidian? Well, lava plus water. We have the water, we just need the lava. Now, I don't know. Uh, it has been indicated to me that we cannot necessarily go to the nether, or at least the nether isn't really useful in Skyblock. I don't know if that means we just flat out can't go to the nether, or if it's a Skyblock nether and there are no resources to be found, or what. I don't honestly know. So... That's one of the things that I would like to try to do uh, soon. In fact, uh, you know, why don't we just try to see if we can get there today, uh, I think. So let me let me just grab, uh, let, me, let me chop down some oak wood because we need it. And then, um, and then we'll see about uh, possibly going to the nether here. Let me just chop this down. How go the... Um, the living stilts over there. Going pretty well. Um, I've got ladders up, so I can actually do something. Uh, oh man, this is gonna be fun. Oh sweet. Oh nice. Now I think I'm gonna have to take this tree and probably put some blocks at the top to even it out a little bit. Yeah, but or the treehouse. The treehouse could simply sit on top of that tree and connect into the sides of the other trees too. That is a thought. I probably should put a moat around it or something so I don't die falling off of it. <laughs> yeah, we might want to put... Uh, oh, this is neat. Yeah. You will want to put torches around. Yep, go. yep, yep. I've got some. Uh, um, cool. Why are you no place? What are you doing? What, what's going on? Yeah, just... Oh, no, they won't place on um, uh, leaves. Ah. But mobs aren't supposed to be able to spawn on leaves either. I think the only reason that one spawned over there 
was because um, you started uh, breaking leaves on that tree, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yep. There was wood exposed, and so um, they were able to spawn there. Okay. My bad. Hey, no big deal. It is fixed. Okay. We have light. Okay. Gold. Oh, this is going to be cool. This is going to be an, an awesome tree house. Yeah. All right, um, let's see. Remind me real yep. quick, how do you recover leaves? Oh, you need shears. Shears. Okay, good. We've got some of those. Do we? Don't we? I thought we did. Uh, we might? Maybe I was thinking of a different game. No, I don't think so. Nope, we have a bucket. We don't have shears. Ah, okay. Um, oh, let's see. Usually I like to get... Eh. Usually I like to, um... Get the, uh, sapling to replant from the tree itself. But in this case, I'm just in a hurry, so... And we have 58 oak saplings. I don't think it's going to really matter. Ooh, we also have a little bit of... Eh, we also have some oak wood planks. Okay. So... I shall. I probably should have grabbed more because I'm going to chop this one down as well. And eventually, we'll want to break down, you know, get rid of this top of the island area. <laughs> top of the island area here. Uh, we'll want to get rid of that because there's really no reason for us to be constantly bumping our heads. There we go. Let's see. Now, the real question should I make the floor out of plank blocks or plank slabs? Mm. That's an important question. That is up to you. I do not know. Mm. Um, we do have, keep in mind, we do have access now to some interesting uh, materials yeah. uh, such as brick. Of course, you could also use glass, I suppose. Yeah, but you know, you don't want to live in a glass house because then you can't throw stones. Ha! Ah. Yeah, that's what they say. Okay. So let's see, what do I need here? Oh, right. 64, let's see. So that is, uh, if I'm doing my math correctly, that's going to be 16 of these oak wood um, logs needed for one bucket of lava. Fun. So this is going to take a little bit uh, in order to get that. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and break away for a bit here, and then uh, we will be right back in a moment with uh, a little bit more wood. Ooh. And with an update on the treehouse. Okay, and after quite a bit of bone mealing and chopping and stuff... I have finally acquired uh, almost three stacks of oak wood, which is what I am going to need for this little project. And as you can see, Libby has been busy at work. I'm going to hop up here. How's Wait it for going? Me. Wait Ooh. for me. I show, I show and tell. It's going to be show. two stories, first of all. Hello. I just made that decision. I'm having troubles. Troubles, troubles, troubles. Yes. Taylor Swift songs come to mind. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes. Okay. You know it's bad. As you can see, this is our first floor. I've been using jungle wood planks for the floor, uh, acacia wood planks for the walls, and I'm going to make some jungle wood planks for the ceiling because that's going to be the floor of the second floor. Um, left some leaves as the walls for visual interest. Not sure if I'm going to leave those there permanently. And I'm going to be putting glass in these windows. Cool. I would like to incorporate some lapis lazuli blocks into the design somewhere, but I haven't quite settled on how that's going to work yet. And I'll probably eventually make a wool rug once we actually have sheep. Ooh, yes. You can dye the wool. Yeah. So that's where we are so far. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. Maybe we can even attach this to the um, the house over here. Or the, the, the tree... Yeah. The greenhouse thing. The... Oh, yeah. yeah Maybe we'll be able to do that. Cool. I didn't mean to do that. Sweet. Well, I will leave you to it. All right. And... Uh, I'm going to take off for uh, the market. Let me just, uh, I'm going to need to dump some of this stuff. Um, I'm going to take off for the market here. Right. And that, that. Uh, I think that should do it for the most part. Got a lot of the stuff I don't need in there, but hey, shouldn't be a problem, right? 
Whoa. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna turn my... I turned my uh, chat off from commands only, because commands only didn't seem to be working. And apparently that means you can't... Uh, not only can you not see the commands, but you can't actually use them. So there we go. So yeah, sorry, you will see some chatter from other people on the server, from other, uh, you know, other segments, not not even just uh, Skyblock. So All right, let's see what I need. For some yeah, I don't know why. Uh, da, da, da. I'm gonna need some gravel. Hopefully that won't. You know, what? I'm gonna just. There we go. Ooh. Eh, I'll spend some of this first. Uh, so let's see. Gravel. Definitely gonna need some gravel. Why would we need gravel? Well, uh, let me get. Uh, we're gonna need gravel because uh, we need to get flint for the flint and steel to ignite the nether portal, which I'm not even sure if this is going to work. But uh, we will find out. Oh, yes. Okay, good. We can get rid of some of that. There we go. Um, there we go. That's what we're looking for. These don't stack. It might take me a few trips. Now, I don't have diamonds yet, so I am going to choose not to get... Yeah, that's not going to be a good idea. I need to go back and dump some stuff. I'm going to choose not to, um, uh, not to go for the whole you know, diamond pick to mine the obsidian thing. I'm going to choose to build up a form around where I want to put the, um, oh, there we go. Around where we want to put the nether, uh, portal. And keeping in mind, it might not even work. Let's see, what was I? Oh, yes. Just need to smelt the iron ore. And that shouldn't take too long. And then, um... Yeah, so where do we want to put the nether portal, assuming the nether portal actually works? Oop, okay. Sounds like we have a little munchkin who's not entirely happy. That happens occasionally. So let's see, where do we want to put the nether portal? Where do we want to put the nether portal? Well, we could do it here somewhere. Or, you know, I'm a big fan at the moment, I think, of just uh, building a, a spot out. Let me throw some of this in here. There we go. At the moment, I think I'm a big fan of um, just building a, an extra spot for it. You know, building a little bridge out to it or something. Because that way, um, there we go. Because that way we don't have to worry about things like zombie pigmen spawning and um, messing stuff up. I mean, they'll still spawn, but they'll fall off. I'm back. Oh, there we go. Baby girl settled back in. Yeah, so I think she was just getting stuck on the cr cradle slats or something. Ah. She does that. She doesn't like it much when she does that either. No, not fun. I can't blame her. Okay, I'm gonna put the nether portal out here. Just because. Uh, let's see here. You know... When you are as... OCD as I am... You want things to be able to be centered, so... He thinks he's OCD, does he? Well, I know, I said as OCD as I am. And then there's me. Yes, I'm not as OCD as you are. Yeah. There we go. This is important. Okay. Um, there we are. So, portal right here, which means I'm going to want to use some dirt to build the basic form. Okay, here is the base portion of our form. And I'm going to just... Uh, I'm going to kind of rush through this a little bit. All of you know how to do this, right? Of course you do. Well, let me just for safety jump up here so I don't burn myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I might not. Uh, I might not even be able to successfully activate the portal. We'll we'll see. 
Oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, if I do this... Okay, now, the important thing when doing this, I don't want to place the water on the lava source block or I will destroy it. I want to place it next to and let it spill onto the source block. So... There we go. Just like that. And we have obsidian. Sweet. And I can stack these buckets. I'm going to have a ton of buckets by the time this is over. So, let me just do that. And we have to do this one level at a time. So this is level one. And we're going to eventually have level two. Level three. Yep, so three high, I believe. And then uh, two wide. So sweet. I have done this before. So I'm going to just cut away and um, come back when we're all done. Okay, and there we go. That is another portal. Um, I haven't tested it, but I have built a little bit more cobblestone structure around it, just for safety's sake, once you actually get here. So, this is the moment of truth to see if it actually allows us to get into the nether. And if it does, great, I'm going to run away and come right back, because I'm not prepared for the nether. But, I want to see, so here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let me see if this works. Glowing. But nothing seems to be happening. Um Yeah. No, apparently the nether is simply not, uh, not enabled here, sadly. Well, we'll leave that there just in case it ever gets enabled. Yeah, that's a bummer. I think that would be a bigger project, uh, than what these guys are going to be able to tackle anytime soon. Uh, and that might even be just not in this Skyblock plugin. Um, I'm not sure. So we have another portal, but it doesn't seem to go to the nether. So, bummer. But um, I'm going to talk to the guys and see if I can get at least, you know, gas tiers and important things like that added to the market. But we already do have blaze rods and uh, netherrack and soul sand and nether wart and all sorts of important stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know what, hon? I think, um, I think we're about at the end of the episode here. We have built yeah. ourselves another portal and discovered the futility of such an act. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's there for decorative purposes, and we can always hack it down once we get diamond pickaxes and, you know, use the use the obsidian for something else. Let's go on up to the second story of the treehouse. Ooh, yes. Let us see the treehouse. Ooh. Oh, sunset. That's it's, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, sweet! And you've got the corners here in it. Oh, this looks great. This looks great. Yeah. Beautiful. I think it's going to be pretty cool. All right. Well, I think it's about time for us to uh, to say goodbye. Wow. All right. So thanks for watching. You've got the moon coming up behind us here. Very romantic. And, uh, yeah, very romantic. Um, should be the sunset. We can see the colors of the sunset, but unless we turn around. Oh, there we go. There's the sunset. <laughs> Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and um, hey, we're open to suggestions. If you've got an idea for something you'd like to see us build here on the Skyblock, um, let us know, by yeah. all means. We'd love to hear from you on Twitter and uh, in the comment section. Yeah. So, yes, so for myself, Freedor7, and my wife, Libby Lishley, thanks for watching. Happy crafting, and we will see you, or you will see us, in our next episode. Bye-bye.